What's up guys? Welcome to Blake's Garage. Uh, today we're going to be doing a video on the F82. This guy right over here that's looking uh, pretty dirty at the moment, but that's okay. Oh, I'm actually tied up for first place at turn 8 time attack with this car in the track class. We recently upgraded the brake rotors in the front here to the gyro discs. And now I have a set from Brian at Keys Motorsports. So huge shout out to Brian. Thanks for sending these things over. They actually now have the gyro discs for BMWs, which is an absolutely amazing product. So this is what a stock, this is actually a front brake rotor looks like on a BMW M car. Um, so you can see it's, you know, it's pretty nice. It's got an aluminum hat and all that, but it's not actually a two piece rotor. See this, not, it's not really a two-piece floating rotor. And actually, they've done you know, a lot to lighten them up, but they're still fairly heavy. So what we got here are these beautiful rear gyro disc rotors. Oh man, look at these bad boys. Um, so we're gonna have to bed these in and everything, but you can see where the uh, bolts, nuts and bolts are right there. Uh, that means it's an actual two-piece floating rotor. And you can see right in this area, this is like the e-brake area. So we'll check that out. But also something we need to check out is uh, we want to make sure that we have good distance here on our brake pads. Or else we'll have to grind down our brake pads, but they should be totally fine. But we'll just, uh, we'll just kind of check it out. But they do have like a little warning label saying to, you know, check that clamp. But oh my gosh, look at these. These are absolutely beautiful. Uh, the veins in these things are a little bit different, so they allow for better cooling as well. They are directional, so you know, make sure to read the instructions. It'll show which way you rotate and all that, because uh, it doesn't totally say on here. But on the box itself, it does show that this is the rear left rotor. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw this on the car real quick, we'll get it jacked up, and I'll kind of show you guys that process for the rear rotors. I don't know if I've ever showed that before. So hopefully these other parts come soon and I can integrate uh, a little bit of other stuff into this video. Um, hint, 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 hint on the uh, BMW M4. Also another thing I wanna mention, so this is actually a huge upgrade on the uh, BMW F80 platform or F82, basically the F8X platform. These rotors give you superior cooling, uh, with the brake hat and they are a tad bit lighter so we're taking a bit of rotational mass off the rear and also a little bit of unsprung weight which is absolutely huge with handling another cool thing about these is uh, if you do have an f8x with carbon ceramic brakes you can buy the gyro disc replacements so you can change your uh, rotors into steel rotors. You might say, well, why would you do that when you have carbon ceramic brakes? Well, when we race these cars, I don't know if you're aware, but we go through rotors pretty quickly uh, and they add up quite a bit. So actually these things are gonna last a lot longer than stock rotors, which is huge. You can replace the outer rings for right around 800 bucks, which is um, sounds like a lot of money, but it's actually a pretty good deal when you really think of it in the grand scheme of things, because uh, you're replacing stuff way more often when you're tracking your car. And if you're unaware, carbon ceramic rotors, those things are like eight grand to replace uh, on all four corners. So yeah, that's uh, not something you're gonna be wanting to do very often. So if you are tracking your car with carbon ceramics, this is an excellent upgrade to do and swap these things out. Plus they look absolutely epic. So this brings us down to the actual brake rotor itself. So as you can see, it's a pretty massive uh, little caliper here. The pads, you know, decently sized. They're not huge or anything. The caliper is pretty big, so it works as a nice heat sink. Uh, I do have a, a 12 millimeter spacer on the rear right now. Yep. With 315 by 30 R18 Nanking AR1s. Um, not running into any rubbing issues. So you guys can see everything looks to be good there. Uh, so we got to bust off these little allens here, boom, and we're actually going to have to remove the whole caliper itself. So there's like two bolts back here, that one and that one. Uh, you are going to want to Loctite those down uh, once you are finished. So we got these two little allen screws. Now I have G-Lock R10 pads in the rear and I have G-Lock R18 pads up front. So I am running a full uh, race pad on the car because we are racing the car so i'm gonna set these now i think the rotor as long as it ain't rusted 
pop right on here. Mind you, the rears are pretty good. Um, I haven't gotten a lot of wear on the rears. Um, you can see our e-brake shoe here, which looks good. You know, just check that for any wear. We could actually go ahead and spray this down real quick. These rotors are directional. Also, we want to go ahead and line up these two screw holes. So um, let's make sure we do that first. About there. Yeah, there we are. So we got our two screw holes there. E-brake feels good. I'm not feeling any obstruction from the e-brake, so that's great. Then we can put in these little set screws. When I do these, I'm actually gonna go grab a big key Allen. Oh yeah. Six millimeter Allen on these. Sitting flush. So that looks absolutely awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this rotor off. Sort of junk I might've got on there. We got the blue Loctite basically. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this on the bolts. You wanna put this on, that way these bolts don't back out when you're driving and get stuck into the barrel of your wheel and your wheel flies off and that sort of stuff because that's never a good thing to uh, have happen. So we're just gonna get a little bit of that on here. Okay. Thread locker. And then this is what they want you to check right here. This uh, pad overhang. They want you to make sure that you got good clearance here. If you don't, they want you to actually uh, trim the pad, but uh, just make sure that the hat doesn't hit the brake pad itself, if that makes sense. You see that little clearance area right there? So yeah, you just wanna make sure that the clearance is all good here. Uh, rotate the car. I'll just take the e-brake off real quick, throw it in neutral. Make sure we're all good. on there we're gonna throw the wheel on uh, so you can see these things fit really nice you do see the clearance here though it's very tight between the pad and the rotor hats you need a little bit of clearance there looks like we are good they asked for about three mil that looks like right around three millimeters so I think we're, we're good to go there also with certain brake pad manufacturers you can actually get them to to make it a little bit like smaller if you like because um, they are usually custom built uh, for the actual pad material itself. But like I said, G-Lock R10 in the rear, R18 in the front. Seems to be a really good balance on this car. Uh, if you do notice, the calipers, they are basically black. They were blue. Uh, that's from heat, from uh, you know tracking the car. So yeah, your, your calipers, if you're tracking the car and you're using the brakes, they should start to turn colors. If you're not turning the brakes uh, that color, probably not braking late enough. So start braking later, car will handle it. And this thing's super fun. So anyways, I hope you guys liked that video. I think in next video, we're gonna be installing some more track stuff in the M4. Huge shout out to Keys Motorsports. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll leave a link down to these bad boys right here below. Highly recommended. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go bed in these brakes.